Welcome to the Sun. On the 12th of August, 2018, NASA's extraordinary Parker Solar Probe was launched. Currently moving in an elliptical orbit, which at its aphelion extends slightly beyond the orbit of Venus for a gravity-assisted maneuver. The probe has already completed 13 orbits. When the probe approaches its perihelion, its closest distance to the Sun, its heat shield will heat up to 1400 degrees Celsius. That is about three times hotter than the temperature on the side of Mercury facing the Sun. Nonetheless, the probe will continue its work in cosmic lava. So then, what do we know about the work the Parker Space Probe has accomplished? And as of today, what data has it already collected? We suggest proceeding to the probe's hottest moment. As we know, in November of 2021, the probe had already come to within a distance of 8.5 million kilometers from our star, brushing against the solar corona, the upper, less dense and hottest layer of the sun's atmosphere that consists of plasma. The solar wind is now not attributed to the sun's atmosphere, and the point when interstellar plasma proves to be stronger than the solar wind is now considered the boundary of the solar system. In any case, Parker's measurements found that the Alvain surface is located on average 13.6 million kilometers from the center of the star. The boundary of these waves is uneven, and its height can change over time. Besides this, the probe discovered many other phenomena. For example, one of the earliest was the discovery of a dust-free zone, closer than 6 million kilometers to the star. A large amount of the cosmic dust simply evaporates, including that of the Earth's. Let's make note of this. In the spring of 2022, Peter Parker took an image of the solar corona which showed there was a distorted S-shaped kink in the coronal plasma. It was established that evidence of this phenomenon was observed over an active region or spot with the designation of AR12972. This is a collection of changing structural formations in a limited area of the solar atmosphere in which magnetic variations are observed. Outwardly, this displays itself as a number of dark spots. Further analysis showed that the speed of the plasma, charged particles, was very low over this area which is characteristic of active zones that have not yet released accumulated energy. All observations fully concur with the theory of reverse switching, which explains the magnetic switching in the Sun. After a successful flyby of Venus, the Parker probe approached its 13th perihelion. This time, the craft was only 5.3 million kilometers from the Sun which is about eight times less than the minimum distance of Mercury to our star. The probe heads into a completely different solar environment than ever before. The current 25th solar cycle, which has been going on since 1749, already exceeds all solar activity forecasts, despite the fact that maximum solar activity has yet to be achieved. Huge sunspots often form on our star, numerous solar flares emit from our star, and they produce geomagnetic storms. So then, the special aspect of this flyby was that it took place during a period when there was a spot the size of the Earth on the surface of the Sun, which threw a huge portion of plasma into space. This is the first time the Parker probe has ever encountered such an event. Moreover, this is the first device that is able to observe coronal mass ejections CMEs, at such close range from the Sun. Besides that, the probe managed to film its space journey. Here we are, observing the craft pass through the solar corona as it passes by several CMEs, plasma eruptions, and the Sun's magnetic field. It's amazing how close it is to the Sun, but not only can the Parker probe see, it is also able to hear. For example, the electrical and magnetic oscillations caused by plasma waves. It registers the interaction of waves and particles, recording the information about the frequency and amplitude of the plasma waves, which researchers can then play back as sound waves. Moreover, penetrating the cloud of microscopic dust, the instruments of the spacecraft also picked up a sound reminiscent of the white noise of old television sets. 
It's the sound of hundreds of micro-impacts occurring each day as the dust from asteroids and particles separated from comets collide with the spacecraft at a speed of nearly 700,000 kilometers per hour. The atoms of each particle decay into electrons and protons in the form of a miniature plasma jet stream, which is heard by Parker's instrument. Well, the extraordinary historic mission of the Parker probe is revolutionizing our understanding of the sun, where changing conditions can spread throughout the solar system, impacting the Earth and the other worlds. The Parker probe travels through the sun's atmosphere, closer to its surface than any spacecraft before it, encountering harsh conditions of heat and radiation in order to provide mankind with the closest possible observations of the star. The main mission of the apparatus is planned through to the end of 2025. It is thoroughly possible to extend that. What is crucial is the ability of the craft to maintain the correct positioning in space when the angular momentum wheels and control system break down. Sooner or later, the probe will be reduced into a melted lump, which will fly around the sun for a very long time and will eventually be absorbed by the bottomless ocean of flaming plasma. But before that, we will receive a great deal of invaluable information about the workings of our star, called the Sun. <laughs>